Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over how to connect all the cables to the PAX 8 835 credit card terminal device. So today, as you see here, we have the PAX 835 credit card terminal along with the back plate for it. We also have a power brick here. We have a USB Type-C cable here. We also have this USB Type-C cable for the main power. Now, first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to look on the back of the A35 device. You'll notice that there is a USB Type-C cable, uh, a USB Type-C port here on the middle. So what you want to do is take this main USB Type-C cable and feed it into this hole here. Now you'll notice that there's a little groove here. And so you'll want to make sure that the flat part goes on the bottom so you can securely plug it in. This is to ensure that there's no power delivery issues and the USB Type-C is in all the way. Next thing you want to do is take your back plate here and put it on like so. And we'll also go ahead and screw it in. This is just to ensure that no customers are able to take the power out or mess with it or anything like that. Once you have the back plate on, you can go ahead and we can move on to our next cable. which is this USB Type-C cable. This is going to be used for your power delivery for the actual credit card terminal. Now, we highly advise you to always make sure that the customer is not plugging this into their MPOS directly. This is going to cause a lot of power delivery issues and we have seen it more than once, you know, this occurs. So always advise them to always use the power brick that is included. So you'll go ahead and plug in your USB here We'll go ahead and plug it into an electrical outlet here. Now you'll take your USB Type-C and you'll plug it into this USB Type-C on the main power. So once you plug it in, the Ethernet will be last. And you'll also notice the PAX-835 is online. So now all that is left is to plug in the Ethernet cable here. So you'll go ahead and plug it in here and that's pretty much it. Now, one thing we'll wanna go over is you'll notice these two cables here on the actual main power. This is a USB-A, this is just a VGA cable. We are not gonna be using these at all. Uh, usually, whenever payment services sends these out, they wrap them up in tape, but still, please make sure that your customers are not plugging these cables into the MPOS. Alrighty, so now that we have the A35 powered on, we'll go ahead and click on the Rapid Connect app here. This will be available if it's on the First Data platform. If you're going to be on WorldPay, you're going to look for an app called Vantiv. But in this case, we're on First Data, so we'll go ahead and click Rapid Connect. Once it comes on, you'll notice that the Modisoft logo will appear along with the IP and the top. This is what you're gonna be using to input on the MPOS so that you can pair it. In any case that you see that, that it disappears, you can go ahead and click here in the top left corner and you'll notice the IP address will be listed along the top. If the IP is reading as 0, 0.0.0, .0, then you'll wanna go ahead and go to the settings on the actual credit card terminal itself and you're going to make sure that the ethernet is, is plugged in, of course, and as well that it is enabled. So in this case, let me go ahead and enter it in. All right, now that we're in the settings, we can go ahead and navigate to the network and internet section. Once in here, you're gonna make sure that the ethernet is listed as enabled. Once you enable it, you can go into the ethernet settings like we just did, and you're gonna go ahead and look at the IP address. If you're noticing that it's 0.0.0, .0, please wait about five to 10 seconds and then the IP should generate. If it does not generate, you're going to look for something in the settings, which I will point out here. So we'll go ahead and go back. So if you do not see any IP, you'll go ahead and scroll all the way to the very bottom and click about device. You'll go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom where here you see 
custom build number. You'll notice here the number is V17.2.04. If, there, if the value is anything less than this, then you'll more than likely need to contact payment services regarding updating the firmware. If the custom build number is not V.17.2.4 and it's V.17.1.2, then you'll go ahead and have to uh, reinstall the firmware. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and head over to the network and internet settings, and we'll go ahead and switch it over to the Wi-Fi. This uh, older firmware is known to give Ethernet port issues, so we'll go ahead and have to uh, reinstall the firmware. So you can go ahead and contact PayQ and let them know, and we can go ahead and begin the firmware installation process. Okay, you'll notice as well, if you do see the Wi-Fi showing saved, uh, but it's not connecting to the Wi-Fi, you're going to have to disable the Ethernet port here, which you can do just by doing that. Once it's powered on, once it's powered off, you can go ahead and head back to the Wi-Fi settings and you can go ahead and connect. You'll notice that it's connected now and you can go ahead and run the uh, firmware update by contacting PayQ. When pairing the credit card terminal device, always make sure that you go to the Modisoft logo screen on the Rapid Connect app. If you're not on this screen, you're not going to get any connection whatsoever on the MPOS. It'll just give you an, un, you know, connection is not, uh, cannot be made.